If you're looking for September theme ideas, then I have 12 for you. These are all inspired by days of recognition that we have in September, making them perfect themes for the month ahead. To start with, we're just going in and putting down the color palettes for each of these theme ideas. Much like the ideas themselves, the color palettes are just suggestions, but if you wanted to use them in your setups, then all of the pens I've used have been linked in the description box. When I list those palettes out, they're listed from top to bottom. So for instance, in our first theme idea, we have the blue being 515, the purple being 685, the pink being 743, the yellow being 055, and the white just being blank space. For our first theme idea though, this one is to go with a doodles theme. Now you might be thinking, Jess, aren't doodles how we realize each of these themes in our journals? Well, yes, they can be, but September 15th is National Doodle Day. And in terms of thinking about the idea for this theme, I was very much going with the idea of the type of doodling you might see when people decorate school books, whether that be in real life or just in mainstream media. The nice part about that style of doodling is that it is super forgiving. You can really add whatever you want to the doodles, and it's really just about filling the space as densely as you want to. While I don't actually end up using any of the colors in the color palette that I had for this one, I really just wanted to highlight that you can color it in if you want to. I decided to stick with black and white because it was just a little easier. Plus, I find something very appealing about densely packed doodles that are just done with black pen on white paper. Our second theme idea, though, is that of wattle, as related to wattle day. For this one, I'm going to be using my Zig Clean Color Dot Marker because if you haven't seen a wattle before, it's effectively like a fluffy yellow ball and that's the flower. Wattle Day is celebrated in Australia on the 1st of September and it would make for a really fun and bright theme because wattle really does just look like a ball of fluff on the end of smaller stems. It is a very easy theme and made even easier with using the dot marker, though you can just draw out circles of yellow yourself. To go with the yellow flower balls, I wanted to make sure to include some leaves as well, so that they kind of looked more like wattle. And I also used an extra yellow pen to make those circles look a little bit fluffier. A holiday that we have in September that I can very much get behind is that of eat an extra dessert day. And to celebrate this one, you could go with a dessert theme in your journal. As you can see, to put the example in for this one, I'm just using some washi tape stickers from the washi tape shop. I've used a couple of different washi tapes for our ideas that we have in this video, and just just like the pen numbers, you can find those tapes linked in the description box as well. For this type of theme, your color palette is probably going to be dictated by the type of dessert you pick, but there is certainly flexibility in that there is a very large range of desserts that you could choose from. Mine was dictated by the washi stickers here, but you could also go for matcha desserts if you wanted a green theme, citrus fruit desserts if you wanted something a little bit more yellow or orange, or of course you could go with some kind of rainbow jelly option. Our theme ideas series this year has been very much dictated by the National Days of Recognition and Celebration, and I feel like when you're talking about novel holidays to people, one of the first ones that comes up is Talk Like a Pirate Day. This one is celebrated on September 19th, and along with Talking Like a Pirate, you could do a pirate's theme in your journal. This could focus on the pirates themselves, or pirate paraphernalia. So for instance, in my example, I've drawn out a treasure map, we have a pirate flag in the background, a compass, a hook, that kind of stuff. The way that I've drawn the edges of my treasure map here is one of my favorite ways to do a page border for my journal, and that would be an excellent decorative element to add into your setup. Along with days of recognition, we also have weeks of recognition, and our next theme idea is related to National Indoor Plant Week. For this one, I'm again using some washi tape stickers from the washi tape shop, but I always find that potted plant themes are super cute and quite easy to draw. Also, if you're not trying to mimic any particular plant, they can be very forgiving. You just need to make something that looks semi-plant related. These could be flowers like I've gone with here, or it could be things like cacti and succulents, leafy plants, really whatever you find easiest to draw. This is also another theme where the color palette is super flexible, because you can find plants in pretty much any color. A theme where the color palette isn't quite as flexible, unless you're taking some creative liberties, is that of a Batman theme. Rather than drawing this one out myself, I am using my Faux Memo thermal printer. So to do the decoration on this one, it just involved finding a picture of a coloring page online, sizing it appropriately, and then printing it out so I could stick it into my journal. I decided to color the full back background before coloring in and sticking in the sticker, but depending on which iteration of Batman you're looking at, you're probably going to have black in the color palette as a fairly main feature. If you wanted to add some other Batman elements into your September, you could also do some Batman-related layouts. 
like maybe do a Batman movie marathon, play some of the Batman video games, read the Batman comics, really however you want to celebrate. Positive Thinking Day is celebrated on the 13th of September, and this could be an excuse to go with a positivity theme for the month ahead. I decided to interpret this as positive quotes or positive affirmations, and rather than writing them in myself, I just went with washi stickers again. This would be a good theme to pair with just some simple decorative elements, so it's not super doodling heavy if you're not really feeling that type of creativity. A thing that I would totally be keen to do in my bullet journal at some point would be that related to National Pet Rock Day, so going with a pet rock theme. I did used to have a pet rock, her name was Cynthia, so I've drawn Cynthia into the spread here. I can't say that Cynthia ever actually had Google eyes, but I think that if she had had eyes, they'd look something like this. This is another theme that is super forgiving because rocks come in all different shapes and sizes, and you can put your rock in whichever setting you like. Maybe Pet Rock Day at the Beach, Pet Rock Day at the Park, Pet Rock goes to the movies. Really whatever you want to do. It would actually be really cute to see somebody do a full bullet journal with different Pet Rock inspired themes. So the overall bullet journal would be Adventures of the Pet Rock, and then each month would have the Pet Rock in different places. But moving on to our next theme idea, this is another one that is super simple, and this is going with a dots theme. International Dot Day is on September 15th, and this is another theme that's made easier by using dot markers. We have great flexibility in terms of the color palettes, and you can make this style of decoration fit any place in your layout because you just put your dots all over the page. You could of course go for something like a polka dots theme where the dots are kind of evenly spaced and in a particular pattern, or just do it randomly like I've done here. A theme idea that isn't quite as easy to draw but could still be pretty cute is going with a red panda theme. This one's related to International Red Panda Day on September 16th. If you're wanting to go with a more realistic color palette for your red pandas, then it's good to note that they are actually a lot more orange than they are red, but they are super cute and would make for a really fun theme. I'd really like to do a red panda theme myself at one point. Because they are a little bit trickier to draw, I opted in to use my faux memo thermal printer again, just looking up a coloring page for red panda, finding one I liked, and then sticking it in. A theme that I know a lot of people have done previously is that of a coffee theme, and while International Coffee Day is technically on the 1st of October, National Starbucks Day is on the 29th of September, so I think it counts. For this one I've again gone with tape, this time it's the PET tape from the Washi Tape Shop. They have a really nice coffee set that has a lot of coffee shops and coffee beans and coffee grinder maker things. I'm not really into coffee myself, I don't know a lot about the coffee equipment, but I will say that the colour palette was cute, so I thought I'd use it in this video. It's also good to note that if you do want to grab yourself anything from the washi tape shop, you can use my code JASHY10 for 10% off your order, because we love savings. The theme idea we have in the corner though is going with a video games theme, as related to National Video Games Day, which is on the 12th of September. Whether you go with the video game kind of console and accessories itself, or focus on one video game in particular, I know that I've personally done a video games theme before, so I did things like Space Invaders and Pac-Man and Tetris, but you could do a theme inspired by a more modern game if that was more your style. If you have any video game recommendations, please do let me know in the comments. I'm always looking for new games to play. Personally, I'm more of an Xbox and computer gamer than I am PlayStation, mainly because I do not own a PlayStation. I kind of think that rules me out, but I'd love to hear your recommendations nonetheless. While these 12 themes were specifically chosen because they're good for September, we do of course have our other theme idea videos that could help you out if you were still on the hunt for inspiration. Those videos can be found in the playlist at the top, or if you wanted to see my September setups, then the one at the bottom's for you. Click or tap on either of those and I'll see you over there.